Hey guys, this is Richie. Welcome to the Jameson Timber Falling YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can use white Gorilla Glue to dress your ropes. This is my first how-to video. Alright, so obviously for this project you're going to need your ropes. Uh, this one I dressed up a while back just by kind of globbing some white Gorilla Glue on there. Uh, this is when I first started experimenting with the glue, and yeah, it does keep it from fraying, but it really didn't do much. Uh, it's kind of a crappy job. This one here is my newer method with using some blue masking tape to wrap it tightly, and while it does foam up a little bit, it keeps it way tidier, and it'll stay like this for a really long time. All right, so I like this blue masking tape. It peels off nicely. White Gorilla Glue. It's a polyurethane adhesive. It is not school glue. Not the Elmer's white glue. And then these are just some tin snips to cut the line. So I'm gonna start with cutting this ugly end off of here. And I can feel about two inches down there's some Gorilla Glue in there. So I'm just gonna tape it a couple inches down. Pull that off. Don't need a whole lot of tape. Just throw that on there. This stage is not super critical. Um, obviously, if you have any defects in your line, you're going to want to cut those out. So I'm just going to cut right through here. Try not to cut my finger. There we go. And then I'm going to pull the core out because like I did with this one that came out really clean, I really only want the glue on the inside. I don't need it to be on the outside. I'm going to shove the core through the cover so it pokes out. I'm actually going to pull this tape off now that I've got it cut. I don't really need that. Get rid of the blue. There we go. So now I'm going to extract the core just a little bit. And this is a really stiff old line. It's had a lot of climbing on it. So it's actually quite difficult to get it out. It's way easier with the new line. So we just need it to come out an inch or so. All right, so you take your Gorilla Glue. I'm going to put it inside the rope. I'm going to squeeze it in there. It's kind of filled the inside. And I just want to coat this entire core. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the cap back on here. Wanna squeeze any air out. There we go. The stuff cures with moisture, so if you squeeze all the air out, this will stay uncured and nice and liquid. All right, I'm not wearing any gloves. I'm not worried about this stuff getting over my hands. It's just a polyurethane coating. All right. I'm going to just get rid of any excess on the end. So I'm going to milk the core back inside the cover. There we go. I'm going to take some blue masking tape once again. And I'm going to stick it on so that it covers the end a little bit. I want it wrapped pretty tight. Tried to get all those fibers in there. You can see a little bit of that glue squeezing out the end. That's why I'm wrapping this on the end so that it'll just contain everything. There we go. And then on that end, let's put a little twist in. There we go. 
And then any that's you know still on my hand, I'm just going to kind of wipe on the, the rope here. Um, most of these climbing lines have a polyurethane coating from the factory. So a little bit of polyurethane on the tail there isn't going to hurt. Next, I'm going to dunk it in some water. So Gorilla Glue needs water to cure. Um, and the instructions, it says that you want to dampen one side. I don't really like dealing with the rope while it's trying to cure. So I just put the glue on there by itself. Actually, I'm going to get some more, some more hot water going here. There we go. And I'm using hot water because it is cold. It's winter time here in California. And it'll cure faster with a little heat. So I'm going to just dunk it right in there for about a second. This will soak the fibers of the rope with some water and set that down there. And then I'll wait about 15 minutes with this wrapped. And I'm just kind of massaging it a little bit to get the glue and the water into the fibers. Make sure this is all covered up good. And I'll just let it sit there for about 15 minutes. Got two double braids here. You can do single braid. You can use UHMW like Amsteel. Um, you can use Technora. You know, the stuff that you can't melt with a lighter. This works really well on. Um, this one, I didn't use any tape. I just globbed the glue on there and just kind of smushed it in with my fingers. That did not work very well. So I'm going to cut that off. I like these shears. Good tough rope. There we go. And what I'm going to do is pull the core out because all I need is the glue on the inside. So what I'm going to do is just extract the core. Just kind of shove the core through here, extract the core, pull it out. And I only need it to come out an inch or so. Get rid of any other junk in there. Um, of course, you might want to wash your ropes ahead of time. This is just an old scrap I don't care about. So I'm going to take my Gorilla Glue. I'm going to just shove it right on the inside here. Squeeze the glue in the inside and just completely coat this core. You don't need a lot because this stuff will expand when it cures. I'm going to squeeze the air out of the bottle here so it'll stay uh, uncured inside. It cures with water. So if you seal out all the moisture, all the air, it'll stay uncured in the bottle. Alright, so milk the cover back over the core. There we go. I'm not wearing gloves. Um, I'm not worried about getting it on my hands. If you get any on your fingers, just wipe it on the ends of the rope here. Most ropes come from the factory with a polyurethane coating. I'm not saying they use Gorilla Glue, but it is a polyurethane. I'm going to grab some blue masking tape here. I'm going to wrap the end tightly. I want to leave a little hanging out on the end. I'll show you why in a second. So I'm going to wrap that, keep all the fibers on the inside, wrap it tightly, and then I'll just kind of give it a little twist on the end here, and that will just condense all the fibers on the inside. Okay, I'm going to take some water because it's freezing cold out here um, and it doesn't want to cure very well. I'm going to use some hot water, dump that out. I've got my thermos here. Let's 
See it's steaming because it's freezing cold out today. You can run water over there, you can dunk it straight in. You know, it only takes a second, just get it wet. Then you let it sit there for about 15 minutes. Um, keep in mind, you don't want this on anything that might get glue on it. And uh, I put a timer on my phone on this guy, so when 15 minutes is up, come back to that. All right, it has been 15 minutes on this guy here. So let me show you how well it's cured. We're going to go ahead and peel the tape off here. It's not going to be totally dry, totally cured, but it'll be hard enough. You could go climbing on this stuff right now. All right, and again, I'm not wearing gloves. I'm not worried about it. What I'm going to do is just kind of press this in and see if there's any strange globs that could be cut off. Um, at this point, it's pretty much done foaming up. And I can feel it's already hardened and down about an inch. All right, so this other one, um, it's probably only been about seven or eight minutes. It's definitely not going to be cured, but let me see if I can find the edge of the tape. I'm going to pull it off just to show you, you know, this stuff's pretty easy to work with. Even if you don't have much time, you know, if you're just doing this on your lunch break or whatever, it's not a big deal. Okay, so this one... I could feel it flexing in there quite a bit. You just coat those fibers, spread it around a little bit. There we go. And let's say I got to go climb the tree right now. All you do is throw some masking tape on there and go to work. You can peel it off later. So get my blue masking tape here, a few inches. Yeah, just throw the tape on there, hanging off just a little bit. Wrap it tightly. I just kind of spin the end. There we go. This end, because it's had about 15 minutes to cure, and because I used that hot water, it's pretty much dry now, pretty much cured up. All right, so why use Gorilla Glue? Um, these are two Ultra Slings. This one I made a while back. It has all frayed out. You know, it's kind of ugly. Um, you can't thread this through like a ring. Whereas this one, I did a whipping. I didn't actually use any glue on the whipping. But I glued the ends, just like I showed you with that double braid climbing line. Um, this is actually 10x woven inside of itself in an ultra sling configuration. And so it's essentially a double braid. Um, but I coated all the fibers all the way around, so it just keeps it nice and tidy. And that's especially useful for hitch cord. If any of you have used the rope, um, what is it, a hitchhiker, yeah. If any of you have used a hitchhiker, you know it's a nice tapered end that needs to go through. Look at that, it's pretty well effortless. So with this method, I mean, look, just for the hitchhiker, um, some climbing lines, if you're using a device like a Ronin, you really need to have the ends dressed nice. Um, you can't have any tape on it, um, no fraying or any of that, because um, there's some devices where it just needs to go straight on through. Let me grab my zigzag, actually. Let me show you how well that goes here. So this is an original zigzag, and yes, it is all dirty. Just pulled her out of the bag here. I'm going to collapse that down. So this is that rope that I just dressed about 20 minutes ago. It is now fully cured. So just to give you an idea of how fast this stuff works, 
And I take the end. Look at that. No effort. Straight on through the zigzag. And if you wanted to, you could pull out like three inches of the core and then coat that hole inside. And then you could really get this thing nice and stiff like a needle to just shove it through. Um, I just prefer to do the last inch. If you need to thread this way through the zigzag. There we go. Just pushes straight on through. I haven't even been pulling on it. There we go. So that's why I use the white Gorilla Glue. Where'd you go? Here we go. Use this stuff right here, white Gorilla Glue, and some blue masking tape, some shears, and some water. Preferably hot water if it is freezing cold. Obviously, if it's summertime, just regular old tap water. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something today. Um, that's what I use to dress up my ropes, that white Gorilla Glue. You can also use it for um, if you get a rip in your clothes. Um, I've got a shirt I've even worn to church a couple times that, you know, it's got a little patch with white Gorilla, and it looks a lot better than uh, stitching or like that old brown Gorilla Glue. It would really foam up. It's all nasty. Um, so it works good to keep your lines looking good and, and clean and tidy and I never had it wear out. I mean, I've, I've done some of that a couple of years ago and You know climbing line only lasts a couple of years anyways uh, If you're using it and abusing it like we do in tree work. So anyways, thanks for watching Hey guys, this is Richie. Welcome to the <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat>